Дорогие коллеги, нам придется объявить технический перерыв.
Dear colleagues, we announce the first technical break over and we start uh, the main part of our meeting. Good afternoon, dear colleagues and guests. Today is the 7th of April 2022, 11 o'clock Moscow time, 11 o'clock 8 minutes Moscow time. Allow me to declare the meeting of the Distinction Council on the defense of Li Yuan, Major 595, Russian language, the languages of uh, the peoples of Russian, cognitive metaphor in the cinema text, be declared open. According to the order number 304-1, I, Vugin, the professor of the Department of Russian Literature of St. Petersburg State University was appointed the head of the Distinction Council. The same order approved the members of the Distinction Council. Let me introduce them. Tolotch and Dmitry Vladimirovich, Doctor of Philological Sciences, Professor of English Philology and Lingua Culturology. Matyanova Irina Anatolina. Uh, the professor of the Russian Pedagogical Institute, Herson Institute. In the remote access mode, the following members are taking place. Bulsalska Yelena Valerianovna, the doctor of philological sciences, the dean of the Russian language as a foreign language and the methodology of its uh, teaching. Can you see and hear us? Luli Fein, the Doctor of Logical Sciences, Professor of the Institute of European Languages and Science of Guangdong University of Foreign Languages, International Trade, China. Can you see and hear us? Yes, I can hear you and see you very well. And the applicant herself, Li Yan, is present with us. Also, the scientific advisor of the applicant, the Doctor of Philological Sciences, the Dean of the Department of Russian Literature at St. Petersburg State University, Bukhaya Lidivna. Dear colleagues in the remote access mode, please turn off your microphones, but don't forget to turn them on. when you are given the floor. Live broadcast is being carried out and simultaneous translation is being carried out. On the live broadcast stream, the listeners might see the email address to which all the listeners might send questions to the applicant or express their opinion related to the content of the thesis. The current scientific discussion or ask their questions. Technical services will send me the questions and I'll voice them. The questions are to be related to the thesis itself. The author of the question should indicate the name, position and job title. Questions not related to the scientific discussion to the thesis and the research itself as well as anonymous questions will not be voiced in accordance with the procedure of awarding the scientific degree of the candidate of sciences and the doctor of sciences approved by the normal regulations here and after procedure the meeting of this district council is considered valid if no more than two-thirds of the approved members take part in its work, but no fewer than four people. Our decision council 
all five are present, including two members of the Council in the remote access mode. Audiovisual contact is provided. That's the risk for you. I would like to ask the curator of the defense to issue the turnout list. The duration of the today's station council meeting is about two hours. The procedure is the following. First, brief information about the applicant and the documents submitted by the applicant. Possible answers to possible questions, about five minutes. Brief report by the applicant on the main provisions of defense. The questions to the applicant strictly on the report. Four, answers by the applicant. reviews by each member of the decision council with their uh, appraisal of the decision research and uh, the speech of the applicant. About 10 minutes per review. The head of the decision council later on provides uh, their reviews. Seven, the applicant provides response to the remarks and questions voiced in the reviews. Eight, open discussion. The floor is given to those present at the defense who are willing to ask questions or give remarks based on the topic of the defense. All those willing to take the floors have to sign in the registration list and give their full name, position, job title. The uh, questions received via online broadcast are uh, voiced. Uh, questions. require more than three minutes to be voiced will not be voiced. Then <clears throat> response by the applicant. Uh, 12. The floor is given to a scientific advisor, no more than three minutes. 13. The discussion of the members of the decision council prior to the open vote call. The sound of the broadcast is muted. with the subsequent entry of the results in the minutes of the meeting. Taking decision and awarding, not awarding. The final word of the applicant. Dear colleagues, are there any questions or objections according to the procedure? Since there are no objections, we'll start the procedure. First of all, I'd like all the members of the Decision Council to mute their mobile phones. Colleagues in the remote access mode, please don't turn off your mobile phone in case of technical failure. Brief report of the chairperson. The thesis by Li Yang, applying for the scientific degree of the Candidate of Philological Sciences, major 595 in Russian languages, languages of the peoples of Russian, on the topic cognitive metaphor in the cinematographic text, was taken for defense according to the order 13201 1.
Li Yang conducted her thesis based in Sibidiba State University uh, as a postgraduate student. The number of the published works with the main provisions of the research paper are four works in peer-reviewed uh, publications from the list of the Ministry of Education of the Russian Federation for published work in the publication index by Web of Science and Scopus, no publications. All the documents received by the Curator of the Defense correspond to the requirements of Spitiba State University demands and requirements, and their copies can be found in the attestation file. The copies are also held by the Curator of the Defense. Prior to giving the floor to the applicant, I'd like to ask the members of the Station Council. Dear member of the Station Council, do you have any general questions to the applicants? Is it necessary to voice the entire list of documents submitted for the defense? No. There are no questions. Since there are no questions, I'd like to give the floor to Li Yang. You have about 15 minutes. Dear Chairman of the Decision Council and dear members of the Decision Council, the cognitive metaphor in film text is devoted to the linguistic implementation of cognitive metaphor associated with fundamental concepts of man, space, time, life, fate, happiness. in the films of Eldar Rifrizanov. The relevance of the study is due to the fact that, firstly, the role of verbal metaphor is not well understood. Secondly, in the studies of metaphor in cinema, metaphor previously was not subject to complex analysis. The role of verbal metaphor in the film is not well understood. The films by Rizanov, which are distinguished by high frequency use of metaphors, haven't been studied from the point of view of expressing both the director's and national world view in metaphors. The material was 29 films by Rizanov, mostly made in the genre of comedy, tragic comedy, and melodramatic films. The work uses a method of continuous sampling, descriptive method, the method of semantic analysis. We focused on the theory of Rakoff and Jackson, where metaphor is understood as the understanding of one type in the terms of another type. We also used the uh, theory of metaphorical paradigmatics of Tarotin, which talks about metaphor is viewed in the cinematographic text and cinematographic text is comprehensive message which is uh, depicted in verbal and non-verbal signs in accordance with the idea of the author in order to provide audiovisual paradigm of the cinematographic text. Conceptual metaphor is one of the ways of analyzing cinematographic text. The method of um, contextual interpretive analysis and conceptual analysis as well as comparative analysis were used in the paper. The purpose of the study was to identify the way of functioning of conceptual metaphor in Rizanov's films. 
to determine the raw information interpretation of the film text. It was planned to take as a material uh, Rosanna's film to determine the mechanism of uh, implementation of concept and metaphors, to classify concept and metaphors according to the concepts, to regard concept and metaphor in cognitive, linguistic and stylistical aspects, to classify conceptual metaphors in accordance with their place and function in cinematographic text. The work consists of two chapters. The first is the theoretical chapter, studies of cognitive metaphor in cinematographic text. The second chapter, cognitive metaphor, linked to fundamental understanding and their linguistic verbalization in Rosanna's film. In our opinion, Metaphorical contexts should be grouped based on the image of a metaphor. The metaphor of personification and the space on the basis of the source of our metaphors. Such semantic classification, unlike other types of classification, allows to encompass all the possible examples found in the film text. Thus, conceptual metaphors linked to the concepts of man are formed either as a shift of the object of material or spiritual world. Man is an object of common world, not spiritual world. The characteristics of animal uh, are metaphorically regarded as the features of a man, uh, can be viewed as a part of the metaphor. In uh, the film, The Adventures of Italians in Russia, the captain uh, who is played by Mironov is saying the following phrase, lover, you have undermined the impression these are foreign guests and you have to represent our city. A person might be regarded as a part of uh, life, nature or non-living nature. Zoomorphic metaphors, especially ornithological metaphors, are rather frequent. Metaphors Included artifacts are rank second. Man as a good, man as a mechanism. For example, in in the film, old horses, old ladies. The place of living of one of the main character who is exploiting uh, others uh, is viewed as the place where a spider lives. It is worth noting that uh, orientational metaphors are often used. We identified six metaphorical concepts linked to spatial orientation, where uh, happiness is in the up, uh, and the problems and everything back is uh, low oriented. Virtue is in the upper part and vice in the lower part. Thus, there is a spatial correlation. Virtue is top and vice is bottom. For example, he is a virtuous person. A phrase from the film, The Irony of Fate. 
In addition to orientational metaphor, the relationship between the surrounding reality and the spatial orientation of a person is uh, demonstrated uh, by spatial metaphors. Human body and parts of the body, physical states and emotions, human activities and emotions are metaphorically conceptualized. Thus, uh, in one of the example of the films, there was a phrase, I don't know the case when uh, the metaphor identified the spatial position of ice and virtual. Among anthropomorphic metaphor, conceptual metaphor embodying time predominate. A figurative associative basis are created for metaphorical methods of the concept time indicates period of time of different sizes or lengths. The analysis of these metaphors justifies that they are connected with social and political changes in society. A cultural significant concept of life is either viewed as a, a living or inanimate being of the material world, the space, road, path, or a game of chance competition. The most frequent metaphorical models are life is a person and life is a road wade. For example, the phrase of one of the film says, it's never late to choose the new way. Metaphorical images of fate in the film are formed by three basic metaphoric metaphors. Fate is a person, fate as an object, fate as a weather. The concept of love is one of the leading concepts in Rizanov film. Love appears as a living or inanimate being, as an element, madness, a game, a battle, a hunt, slavery. The most common metaphors are love uh, as a natural element or love as a battle. In one phrase of the films, it said, please don't play with fire and I'm not afraid of getting burnt. Three hundred fourteen representative metaphor metaphorical context were analyzed out of 29 films by Rizanov. Conceptual metaphors can be seen in the dialogues, in the songs, in the names of the films. It's worth noting that gender Differences are factors that influence the verbal uh, realization of metaphors. As well as in dialogues, the majority of metaphors are used by uh, male characters, and metaphors used in songs uh, are mostly used by female characters. The inclusion of song text and poetic text are one of the key features of Rosanna's films. The son in the film is a productive way of uh, providing information about the feelings and emotions of the characters. Music is an additional factor of influence which helps to create visual images. Visual images, and in their turn, help to perceive the musical structure of the film. In order to form and implement conceptual metaphor in the text, historical and social factors are taken into consideration. Thus, concept metaphors in the films which appeared prior to the Khrushchev thaw are often ideologically marked. For example, in the New Year song, 
in the film of uh, 1956. Metaphor phrases about the time can be seen. Uh, the time is taking us to the front. It's very often that everything changes very quickly. Time is viewed as the new epoch of the new life, and the old year means the old epoch, the old uh, Stalin epoch. In a number of cases, metaphors have a comic effect. As in such phrases, please vacate the space with your dogs. He stepped on my paw. These are all the examples from the film. The key from uh, the bedroom. In the context, a metaphor might be emotionally marked which is different from traditional or can be interpreted in a different way. For example, the character of uh, film Garage is often viewed and called by her colleagues as the white crow, which has a positive metaphorical sense. Concept metaphors are an efficient way of describing different types of activity, expressing emotions, ideas, and perceptions. Which leads to the valuation of characters uh, of other people and uh, the audience themselves. It helps to develop a plot, to comment the plot and create uh, a certain mood of the film and to disclose the sense or the main idea of the film. Such metaphors enhance the aesthetical value and the persuasive power of the utterances. This is the end of my report. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Leanne. Dear colleagues, are there any questions related to the presentation or to the report of the applicant? None. None. Colleagues, please turn off the presentation from the screen so that we could see the members of the Distation Council. Thank you very much. Now we can see everyone. We move to the next stage of the procedure. The floor will be given to the members of the Decision Council with their reviews on the uh, thesis. And then finally, I will voice external reviews, if any. I'm not sure if there are any. Uh, the applicant might provide response after each of the review or uh, after all the reviews. I suppose that it will be uh, easier for Leanne to provide response after each of the uh, reviews. If there are no objections, then this will be the procedure. So we will start with the reviews of the members of the Decision Council. Since all the reviews were published on the Sibitiba City University website, I'd like to uh, foc I'd like to ask the members of the Decision Council to focus on the key uh, aspects of their reviews, if there are no objections. There are none. So we will give the floor to Igor Vladimirovic to lodge in. Thank you very much. I will voice um, 
the final part of my review. Uh, the relevance of the work uh, is determined by the fact that the thesis is carried out within an actively developing research on the language mechanism of formation and uh, reproduction of, of value models. And the films by Rizanov are have an um, important uh, number of polycode texts for the modern uh, Russian culture. And their analysis and sensation allows to uh, find their significant trends in the uh, hierarchy of their values up for the culture. And the novelty uh, is in the method uh, of defining and processing and analyzing the metaphorical structures. The theoretical importance consists on the development and the use of analytical instrument which allows to preserve the role and function of language metaphor in the polyco text. Uh, the analysis of the uh, language material can be useful for the development of courses on lingua culturology and the teaching lang ling Russian language as a foreign language. Nevertheless, there are certain discursive issues. First of all, we would like to ask the author to comment about the scientific uh, possibilities uh, for future work. The applicant mentioned that I've uh, used often used and easily identifiable metaphorical structures. What is the conclusion based uh, on this idea in the form of in the influence of a formation of value of uh, film text? Should the metaphors uh, based on the concepts of a heart, spirit, love viewed as the characteristics of an individual style of the film director, or they reflect the basic ideas of the world view, uh, which is typical for the Russian speaking culture. The publications, um, the published words, works by Li Yang reflect the main provisions of the uh, research. Thus, the thesis by Li Yang on the topic cognitive metaphor in the syntographic text uh, complies with the main requirements of St. Petersburg State University, and Li Yang deserves being awarded the uh, scientific degree of the Canada of Logical Sciences, Major 595. Clauses 9 to 11 were not violated. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kirfil Zimitovic. Li Yang, now the floor is yours. I would like to thank Igor Vladimirovich uh, Tolochin for the interest in my scientific work. As for uh, the possibility of further research, I would like to say the following. Because there is a significant number of units of the research. Our work was limited to the analysis of linguistic implementation of, of metaphors in the films by one film director. Thus, uh, we uh, see that further research might be based on the analysis of metaphors of a cinematographic text used in other film directors, such as Leonid Gaidai, Vladimir Menshov, and others. Also, it would be interesting to compare the functional traits of metaphor in cinematographic texts on the same topic uh, used by different film directors. As for the role of such an approach in forming the sense unity of sympathetic text, I would like to say that not all film directors use metaphors. It could be well noted in the films of Rizan of contemporaries. Wide use of metaphors, especially generally linguistic metaphors, 
is one of the characteristic traits of Rizano films. As uh, for the fact that the director uses widely spread and easily a recognizable metaphor, we can say the following. The effect of a sense unity of cinematographic text does not depend only on the information which is directly contained in the film text but it also depends on the interaction between the content of the film text and the background of the viewers. Metaphors based on common associations and widespread similes, such as snake, spider, old broom, and so on, uh, allow the right understanding of any structural element of the cinematographic text and the right understanding of each uh, separate phrase by the character or the whole text. The metaphors uh, in the name of the film uh, often serve as the key to understanding the film. And many linguistic metaphors help to understand the film episode. As for the metaphors based on the concept heart, spirit, soul and love, whether they should be viewed as a characteristic of individual style of the director. I would like to say that heart, soul and love are the basic concepts of the Russian lingua linguistic culture and serve the basis of the national worldview. The universality of such concept is seen in their existence and interaction uh, in all linguistic cultures. Thus, the perception of these concepts by uh, the representative of different linguistic cultures can be seen in the forms of their linguistic realization. For example, in the Russian culture, heart and soul are often perceived as the place of localization of emotions and feelings. In the cinematographic texts that we analyze, we can often see that heart and soul can experience different feelings and emotions. As a part of uh, spatial metaphors, heart and soul can contain positive or negative emotions. These metaphors, for example, help to describe uh, the idea of falling in love. Metaphorical structures with the use of words heart, soul, love, not only linguistic or language metaphors are used, as well as individual author metaphors, such as life is the path from birth to death obscure soul path and these are the names these are the uh, phrases from um, the song based on uh, Rizanov verses thank you very much for your response Igor Vladimirovich do you have any further questions I would like to ask one more question. You said that you conducted a small comparison, um, which is not part of your uh, thesis. Um, could you name a film uh, with which you compared to the films? And you said there were his contemporaries who used no metaphors. There are few films with no metaphors at all. But the thing is uh, that they differ in the number of metaphors. We see that there is the majority of metaphors, the largest number of metaphors in the films by Rezanov. I suppose that Leon meant that Rezanov had more metaphors in his films and not that all the other films did not have any metaphors at all.
Professor Lulifen will give you the floor. Uh, the review. to the thesis of uh, Li Yang on the topic cognitive metaphors in cinematographic text. Applying for the scientific degree of the candidate for logical sciences, scientific major 595, Russian languages, languages of uh, peoples of Russian. Metaphor is a very important way of perception. People are used to using specific uh, concept to understand abstract or unknown concept based on their perception and experience. In the conceptual system of the humankind, certain basic concepts are metaphorical. Metaphor is uh, the basis of the system. The thesis by Lian is dedicated to the uh, problem which is linked to the function of the conceptual metaphor in syntographic text. The research has high theoretical and theoretical importance and can be applied. 314 examples of concept metaphors uh, from 29 films by Rezanov were analyzed. Lexical and functional semantics is viewed in cognitive, uh, linguistic, and stylistical aspects. The author of the thesis demonstrates the understanding of the uh, cognitive linguistic research conducted in uh, Russia linguistic traditions, as well as the understanding, uh, subtle understanding of the Russian fiction culture as well as the ability to analyze text material. The applicant comprehensively analyzed concept metaphors linked to the concept of man, space, time, life, fate, love, happiness, and others. Undoubtedly, this is a research uh, of extremely high quality. Nevertheless, the thesis has a certain flaws. First, the name of the thesis is uh, too broad. A subtitle should have been included, such as based on uh, Rizana films. The structure of the thesis does not seem highly rational. There are only two chapters in the work, which is not very characteristic of uh, candidate thesis. It would be better to use a larger number of chapters. A separate chapter should be dedicated to the overview of the scientific works based on the theory of conceptual metaphor. Separate chapter should include the analysis of conceptual metaphors based on the concepts mentioned before. And it might be broken into chapters, for example, in accordance with lack of Johnson um, groups of conceptual metaphors, such as structural, ontological, and orientational metaphors. It is necessary to conduct a more in-depth analysis of metaphorical shift of lexical units uh, from the source sphere into the target sphere. Further options for research can be found in the thesis. For example, the author might later on focus on uh, gender differences of synthographic characters as a factor uh, influencing the ways of verbalization of metaphors, where a male character uses a metaphor in the speech in order to show the relation towards uh, an object to provide evaluation of it 
while female characters uh, most often use metaphors which show their emotional uh, perception of life, uh, fate and love. Conceptual metaphors in the songs of the key characters are often linked to metaphorical modeling of the concept love, while the metaphors in the so in the songs of subordinate characters uh, might enhance the speech and provide a more in-depth sense. A number of analyzed metaphorical models is linked to uh, eternal issues and some uh, metaphors are linked to the epoch of uh, to which the film belongs but these remarks uh, talk about the uh, further possibilities of research and uh, might be later on included in the research by the applicant the thesis by Liang on the topic cognitive metaphor in synthographic text complies with the main requirements in accordance with the order uh, from the 19th of November 2021, number 11181-1, on the order of award in scientific degrees at Smitterberg State University. Applicant Li Yang deserves being awarded the scientific degree of the Candidate for Logical Sciences, major 595 Russian language languages of the peoples of Russian. Clauses 9 and 11 of the above mentioned order were not violated. I have no more questions. Now I would like to give the floor to Li Yang to provide response. I would like to thank Professor for the detailed analysis of our work. I agree with the comment on the, concerning the name of the thesis. Professor Fugin also expressed the similar remark on the name. The name cognitive metaphor in synthographic text was chosen in the very beginning of the, my postgraduate studies when we didn't know for sure whether the work will be limited to uh, the films by Rizanov or will use the films by other film directors. As for the perspective of the research, it might act as a stimulus to continue our work. On the whole, we agree with the remark that it's necessary to divide on the theoretical chapter into more chapters. It would be logical to put theoretical ideas of studying cognitive metaphors and theoretical uh, basis for studying synthographic text into separate chapters. As for the second chapter, I would like to note that, as was previously mentioned, the main task was to identify the functional specification of conceptual metaphors linked to the basic concepts as a part of metaphors linked with one concept. Different types of metaphor might form the group of metaphors with similar concept if we form the metaphors based on their types. If we form uh, metaphors in accordance to lack of then the groups of metaphors linked with one concept will no longer exist. And the structure doesn't allow us to, wouldn't allow us to cover all the metaphors found in the text. In our further work, we will 
continue working. We will work on metaphorical analysis of lexical units. Professor Lulufen, are you happy with the response? I respect the work and I just express my opinion and my advice. Thank you. Yena Valerianovna, the floor is yours. I have a positive I would like to say that the research is relevant. Nevertheless, the topology, uh, the structure of the analyzed units is not absolutely clear. Well, the semantic aspect is uh, well defined and well described. It is also necessary to pay attention to the uh, cognitive lack of unity of certain um, cognitive units and the scale is different so it's necessary to see this structural topology I know that uh, Lien thought about it and she uh, had the idea that we most likely don't need such topology and uh, my question is why it is not necessary to use this topology the analysis of the example in the second chapter is given with much detail and the reliability uh, is very high, but mm, sometimes we lack the quantitative uh, analysis. We need tables or schemes that would present uh, the figures for the thesis by Li Yang on the topic the cognitive metaphor in the synographic text complies with the main uh, requirements of the Pacific State University, and the applicant herself deserves being awarded the scientific degree of the candidate of uh, philology. Thank you, Elena Valerianovna. Li Yang, the floor is yours. I would like to thank Elena Valerianovna for her review. As for the meaning of the word interpretation, uh, which we used in the formulation of the purpose of the work. We talk about interpretation as um, interpretation of verbal and nonverbal information by the film director or the screenwriter. Probably we didn't use the best uh, phrase. As for the remark uh, concerning the uh, figures, of the identified metaphors and uh, the uh, figures concerning the use of metaphor. The main classification in the research paper is the semantic classification of the metaphor based on the spheres of uh, sources and uh, spheres targets. It is viewed by many linguists as widely used and persuasive. And the formal classification, as well as classification based on the parts of speech, is not conducted in our research paper, which can be seen in the goals and aims of the research. The detailed analysis of the structural characteristics of metaphor is of low importance in achieving the goal set. In particular, the identification of functional specification of conceptual metaphors in the synthographic text. There is also another reason according to which we cannot provide specific statistical data on substantive uh, adjective of verbal metaphors. The fact is that in one metaphorical context, which is usually a sentence, there might be several types of metaphors present which relate to different parts of speech. Thus, it's difficult to identify the type of metaphor uh, which lies in the basis of the example. For example, in the context 
during the night and during the day, just like the tide, everything's boiling around. Metaphorical expressions and non-metaphorical methods were the object of the analysis. We understand that it is not often that there is one example uh, corresponding to one metaphor. Uh, there are often interferences which do not allow us to provide general statistics. It is possible to say that we conducted statistical analysis of metaphor where it was necessary. Statistical data can be seen either in interim stage of uh, subchapters or in the text itself where we talked about the analysis or conclusions in the second chapter where you can find the statistics on the number of examples grouped according to their place in the cinematographic text as for the analysis of units in accordance with the Will Wright or Joseph Grady principle. I'd like to say that different topologies such as uh, the fact that Will Wright divides metaphor and uh, epiphor and diaphor or the topology by Grady and Fauconnier as well as uh, groups offered by Lakoff and Jackson cannot encompass all the examples found in the films. For example, uh, the basis of ontological metaphor lies in the abstract understanding of the image of the person. And we view metaphors uh, in the following way. Artifact as a person, uh, the object of living or inanimate nature as a person. Thus, only semantic classification and grouping of metaphors based on uh, spheres, sources and spheres targets allow us to structure the material. What is more, it was extremely important for us to identify metaphorical images to represent the concept into most often used metaphorical structures to conceptualize the concept. Thus, the topology used in the uh, thesis helps to achieve the goal set, that is, the identification of the national and cultural traits of metaphorical conceptualization of the surrounding world. We wanted to thank Elena Valiana Brzezalska once again for her interest in our work and the identification of further approach to uh, the study of this area and the uh, approaches to the topology of the metaphors can be used in our further research. Thank you very much. Hirena Validianovna, are you satisfied with the response? Yes, thank you very much. Irina Natalivna, now the floor is yours. The study of cognitive metaphor in the film text by Eldar Rizanev, who is a great film director, well known in Russia and abroad, is of course relevant to interpret uh, not only his individual worldview, but the national worldview. Up until now, his work was uh, interpreted by uh, cinematographic critics and reviewers. Li Yang analyzed in great detail uh, the most important concept. She compared different classifications by foreign and domestic authors. The author disclosed the cognitive potential of metaphor and characterized it paradigms and functions. Uh, anthropomorphic, spatial, artifact, metaphors, and others. The topic of the thesis required the comparison of such approaches as Skyev, Slishkina, Yefremov, uh, and others um, to their analysis of some progressive 
cinematographic text. Li Yang, following uh, many researches, uses the term creolized and polycode text. Uh, but it is believed that in order to characterize a cinematographic text, it's necessary to uh, identify the difference between these two terms. And the terminological use of the word code. Author does not always understand uh, the cinematographic text as a special type of text and have a critical uh, opinion considering Mm, existing controversies uh, in its interpretation. For today, the study of um, cinematographic text faces uh, pentextual influences which blurs the uh, boundaries of the defense. Li Yang analyzed in detail the concept metaphors linked to uh, the concept Men, the uh, inanimate nature, artifacts, uh, space, and so on and so forth. I'm not going to ma name all of them. Uh, the author of the research identified historical and social factors uh, which influence the formation of uh, explicit and implicit conceptual metaphor. Um, it was identified that uh, the metaphor uh, conceptualizing that the concept time are predominant in the films by Brezhanov. And the largest group of Zormov uh, metaphors is um, seen in the metaphor men bird. Among conceptual metaphors which represent the concept of a fate, um, anthropomorph metaphors are predominant, which show it as a kind or cruel person. The position of the conceptual metaphors are identified in the text, whether they appear in the songs, in um, the name of the film, or in the dialogues. And metaphorical uh, phrases can be most often seen, seen in the comedies by Rizanov. Uh, the results obtained uh, are reliable. The thesis itself is reliable. It uh, is, has a fundamental theoretical base. Uh, a large volume of material was analyzed. I would like to say uh, the following concerning uh, certain flaws. Uh, Li Yang in uh, the thesis uses linguistic implementation of conceptual metaphors. Nevertheless, uh, wordplay is not an unprecedented phenomenon, don't often, are not often uh, analyzed. Uh, the examples can be seen on page 81. It is not often clear why the known beast uh, aimed at one of the uh, characters is not called offensive. And if we talk about the spatial metaphorical means of the top and bottom, uh, why is the phrase stand up um, classified in accordance to the spatial metaphors? Certain terms are not always clear defined. And finally, the author says that cognitive science uh, changes the scientific status of the notion metaphor. It is worth noting that metaphor uh, has been perceived as the mechanism of perception and the type of thinking prior to the emergence of uh, cognitive science, for example, in the recall concepts by Lotman. Nevertheless, uh, the above mentioned remarks do not have a negative effect on the overall positive impression obtained from the work. The work demonstrates that it is possible to use uh, special linguistic knowledge to analyze the syntographic text, and linguistic interpretation is necessary to disclose the link between other semantic systems 
uh, and develop the understanding of the text and its topology. Thus, the thesis by Lian on the topic cognitive metaphor in cinematographic text complies with the main requirement according to the order of uh, number 11181-1, and the applicant deserves being awarded the scientific degree of the Candidate of Philological Sciences, made of 595 Russian language, languages of the peoples of Russia. Clauses 9 and 11 were not violated by the applicant. Thank you very much, Evgenia Natalivna. Leanne, the floor is yours. I would like to thank Yelena Anatolyevna Matyanovna for her appraisal of the work and for her remarks. First of all, when analyzing linguistic implementation of conceptual metaphor in Rosanna films, uh, does not always see uh, the fact that a word play and precedent phenomena uh, are used um, in metaphorical phrases. It is worth noting that word play uh, was not in the center of attention of the applicant. Only sometimes the primary uh, meaning or the source of origin was mentioned. Word play is often linked to the comic sense um, provided in the speech or the creation of uh, a vivid image. Metaphors which lay in the basis of word play or precedent phenomena are often used in the film text in order to create the comic mood and uh, they result in forming a static effect. I suppose that if we study metaphors in such an expert uh, aspect, it will make the research even more uh, profound. As for metaphorical sense, of the word beast, uh, the term describing it uh, was a mistake. The term used to describe it was used uh, mistakenly. As for the uh, order, stand up. I would like to say that the inclusion of uh, such phrases into the number of examples linked to spatial metaphor uh, is well grounded. Lack of and Johnson as an example of such metaphorical correlation of top and bottom use the phrase get up and they um, focus on its physical aspect. Uh, people sleep on the backs and they get up when they wake up. Based on the cognitive theory of the metaphor by Lack of and Johnson, we can say that the state of sleep corresponds to the horizontal position of the body and the waking up corresponds to the vertical position of the body. Thus, when we wake up a sleeping person, we say, stand up, get up, up you go, not just wake up. As for the differentiation of uh, terms used in the uh, thesis, in many sources, metaphor is viewed as a type of a trope. At the same time, linguists often talk about metaphor as of a figure of speech. Thus, we did not distinguish these two terms from each other, and we did not focus on the differences between them. These terms belong to the terms of rhetorics and stylistics. The difference between them is not often clear. Thus, some linguists view tropes as a type of the figure of speech. In our further research, we will follow the advice by Irina Anatolievna 
and will be more accurate with the nuances of the meanings of terms and will be very careful in using the terms, certain terms in uh, the future papers. We are very thankful to Irina Natalievna for the fact that she focused uh, on the idea that metaphor was perceived as the mechanism of perception and the type of thinking prior to appearance of cognitive linguistics. But it was thanks to uh, cognitive sciences, in particular Lakoff and Janssen, that metaphorical processes were linked with conceptualization of the human experience. Well, first of all, a body experience and with the uh, scheme of the human body. Nevertheless, it's necessary to note that metaphor is a multifaceted object. Thus, uh, different, different difficulties originate. And um, metaphor is analyzed by such sciences as rhetoric, philosophy, and psychology. Thank you very much. Irina Natalina, are you satisfied with the answer? Thank you very much for your response. Now, it's time to focus on my review. I'm not going to voice the entire review. Uh, I will voice one part in full, although some of the similarities have already been expressed. And the remarks will be similar quite often. The thesis uh, for defense has a lot of uh, positive aspects, including the novelty of the approach to the material. I would like to uh, express a certain uh, remarks. They are not key flaws, but I suppose that that uh, their absence would have improved the quality of the thesis. It would have been better if the um, reader of the thesis uh, would understand from the very beginning that the metaphor functioned in the films by Brezhanev. Otherwise, it might be uh, thought that the task is too broad. The introductory theoretic part of the thesis um, has chronological discrepancies. The author talks about such researchers who lived in different time periods and had different ideas. For example, the author says Black in his research talks about the closeness of metaphor and comparison. For example, according to Waitley, a comparison is different from metaphor only on based on its form. But it's not very clear why the applicant within the framework of only one paragraph moves from the theoretist of metaphor, Max Black, uh, to the ideas of almost our contemporary who lived in the 20th century and uh, compares it to the concept of Richard Whiteley who lived in the 18th and 19th century. There was a similar example on page 15. Ancient and medieval uh, perception on metaphor are uh, often criticized by modern theoreticians and the limit of traditional understanding of metaphor based on Richard's. If we talk about Ivor Richards, he died in 1979. So difficult to say that he is a contemporary researcher. Uh, there are certain typos in the work, or certain difficulties uh, because of the Russian language. Uh, but since the applicant is a non-native speaker, so certain uh, flaws uh, can be understood. Nevertheless, I'd like to say that your thesis deserves uh, being defended at St. Petersburg State University. I'd like to thank the professor for his detailed analysis of our work.
As for the name of the thesis, I'd like to say that I agree with this remark, and I have already mentioned that. As Valeria Yulevich mentioned, it's difficult to say that Ivor Richards is a modern scientist and John Locke and Thomas Gobbs are not medieval um, researchers, but English philosophers of the epoch of early modern period. As for the comparative concept of metaphor, Max Black cites some of his predecessors to demonstrate typical traditional understanding of metaphor within the framework of this um, approach. This is why I mentioned him together with Richard Whiteley. But in our further work, we will be more accurate with the timeline of ideas. Thank you very much. Now, dear colleagues, I might give the floor to those present at the defense, but who don't form the part of the uh, decision council. So we move to the next point. And we'd like to give the floor to the scientific advisor. Please tell us about the applicant and the work by the applicant. I'd like to say a few words, and um, I'd like to say some positive words about Liu Yang. Uh, we started working together when she was a postgraduate student, and we were choosing the topic of the thesis together with her. I'd like to say that Liu Yang was very attentive to the works by classical linguists, and she was very much inspired by the works uh, of Tolochin. And while studying as a postgraduate student, Liang proved to be a very focused student. And the idea of the thesis originated from the uh, desire to solve the practical needs. And this determined the necessity to conduct certain theoretical research to develop the conceptual theory of the metaphor used uh, for the analysis of symbolographic text. I believe that Lian achieved much in her work. And the remarks that our colleagues voiced are uh, very interesting. I suppose that the semantic classification uh, of metaphor presented by the applicant uh, was very useful. Nevertheless, there is much ground for further development of uh, the analysis of metaphors. And this experience can be further used uh, for the studies of other film directors, uh, Rizanov's contemporaries, and some other uh, film directors of different generations of epochs. Probably Li Yang will focus on it in her further work, and probably her path her way will be successful and will lead her to uh, further achievements. And a scientific advisor, I'd like to say that I was uh, lucky because Li Yang is a very is a highly independent researcher. I provided her with only some names and directions, and she conducted all the research herself and she lived with the Rizanov films, and I suppose that she's the best specialist on uh, Rizanov film in China. Thank you. Dear colleagues, uh, does anyone wish to take the floor? Then this is the end of our discussion. As far as I understand, we did not receive any questions 
via email. Then we put an end to our discussion and prior to the final voting, I need to ask all the members of the decision council and the applicant. Do the members of the decision council or applicant have any questions or objections about the procedure of the meeting? None. Then we move on to the voting procedure. Dear colleagues, prior to the voting procedure, we have the opportunity to announce a break to discuss the results of the defense with muted sound. How do you think, dear colleagues, do we require such a break? No, the break is not required. Then we continue. So we continue the meeting and we move on to the voting. The opinion of each member of the decision council has to be voiced publicly and independently. The time is 12, 12 o'clock. 28 minutes Moscow time. I would like to ask you to voice your opinion. Igor Vladimirovich, please. I believe that Leon deserves being awarded the scientific degree of the candidate for logical sciences. Thank you. Professor Luli Fen, your opinion, please. I agree. Thank you. She deserves being awarded the scientific degree of the candidate for philology. Ivina Natalivna. I vote for Yelena Valiyanova Butsalskaya. I vote for Leon Desa has been awarded the scientific degree of the candidate of uh, philology, uh, May to 595. Thus, I'll summarize the voting procedure. The thesis by Li Yang, the cognitive metaphor and scenographic text, complies with the main provisions of the uh, requirements of St. Peter's State University in accordance with the order of St. Peter's State University. And the applicant, Li Yang, deserves being awarded the scientific degree of the Candidate of Logical Sciences, major 595, Russian language and languages of the uh, Russian peoples. Clauses 9 and 11 were not violated by the applicant. Dear colleagues, now we move to the vote count. Am I right? Thus, esteemed colleagues and guests, I'd like to announce that out of five members of the Decision Council, five voted for, against, none, abstained, none. The decision in awarding the, in the scientific degree of the Candidate of Logical Sciences, Scientific Major 595 for Russian language, languages of the peoples of Russia, is adopted. I'd like the, to give the floor uh, to the applicant for the final word. Dear Chairperson and the members of the Station Council, let me express the thankfulness uh, to those who took part in preparation of my thesis and in its defense. First of all, I would like to thank the Chairperson of the Dissertation Council as well as the curators of the defense.
for the opportunity to defend my thesis in St. Petersburg State University. I would like to sincerely thank my scientific advisor, Lubov Mitrievna, for her precious advice. for her support and assistance at all the stages of, of the work on my research. I would like to thank all the members of the Distation Council for highly qualified and objective reviews that allowed us to identify the flaws of the paper and to understand the importance of the uh, paper. And thank you for your overall positive reviews on the thesis. And I would like to thank my uh, university, St. Petersburg State University, uh, where I started studying from bachelor's uh, state to postgraduate studies. The life at this university uh, will be always remembered. I would like to thank my family uh, for support of my scientific work. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Liang. We can only congratulate you, and we will all congratulate you on this achievement. Our meeting is now closed. Thank you all for participation. Turn off the live broadcast of the meeting. Thank you. Goodbye.